Hello, my name is Maxim and today I want to show you how to install GoLang and how to configure Visual Studio Code to use GoLang. So let's start by downloading the GoLang. So I need to type in the Google GoLang and first link should be so it's asking me to about cookies. So the first link will be the Go programming language. So I need to go here and click download. And I will be provided multiple options, such as install for Windows, for Mac, for Linux. And since I'm using the Linux, I'm going to use install for the Linux. So I would copy this link, open my terminal, and inside of the terminal, for example, I would go to the TMP directory, and I'm going to download this archive. So it will take a few seconds to download. Once it's downloaded, I need to unpack. So I would call sudo tar and I need to run sudo because I'm going to unpack into the user local directory and I need to provide all the keys to unpack and go package and I'm typing enter it will take a few seconds to install the package so now package is unpacked I can verify what I have in the user local go so here is the bunch of the packages, there is the bin directory and I can call here go, for example, go version. And as you may see, GoLang is already installed. But if I will type just simply go version, nothing going to happen. My Ubuntu say that command go is not found. This is because I need to add a binary to, uh, of the GoLang to the path. And since I'm using the ZSH, I'm going to add this into directory which is called in my uh, home directory and called zshrc. So here is all of my configuration of my current shell and at the end I need to add next line. I need to export pass equal dollar pass and here I need to specify where my GoLang binary is located. And this was user local bin and I'm sorry, local go bin. Uh, next, I need to save and I would need to restart my terminal to apply the changes. So now, if I type go version, you may see that go is already installed. So next what I need is to install the Visual Studio code. So I can also type in the Google VS code will be the first link. I click download. There is also multiple options for Windows, for Mac. I already have installed, so I would just launch the Visual Studio code in current directory. And next what is re required is to install GoLang extension. So here is the button to install the extensions and here I would type go. It should be the first, so I already have it installed. That's why I have button uninstall, but if you don't have it installed, you would have the button installed. But just install extension is not enough. Also is required to install some additional GoLang packages. So how can I do it? Well, I would type because I'm on the Windows, it will be Ctrl Shift P. And I would type here go install update tools. And I need to select all of the tools. And as you may see, GoLang is already asking me like if I want to install, but I can install them from here. So I click OK. And now GoLang started uh, installation, but I got some error because something is is not wrong with my uh, VSL. I think I'm missing the GoLang package. So let me create the Go folder. Oh, it was already created by Visual Studio Code. So and I should see here like binary and packages. So binary it will be all GoLang binary uh, placed here. Inside of the package all like clone source code packages will be there. So we can check what do we have right now here. Package. So, oh sorry, there is the information about available packages. Now, uh, all tools successfully installed, I'm ready to use the GoLang. And let's create simple hello world command. I'm sorry, command code. 
to see that extension is, is really working. So uh, inside of this Go directory, I'm going to create another directory which will be called SRC. So here all source code will be located. And uh, I'm like this is the kind of naming convention, I would say, to the Golang of the pack package name. And since I'm going to publish this to the GitHub, I'm going to create github.com. So if you're using GitLab or something else, uh, for you it will be uh, GitLab or any other source control. Then inside of this folder, I'm going to create another folder with name of my GitHub username. And finally, inside of this folder, I'm going to create all of my Golang code. And we are going to work on hello world. And let's open hello world. Uh, first, what I need to do is to initialize Go module. Go module will contain uh, like information about the uh, packages which is used in, in our project and other information such as uh, version of Go blank is used. So how can I initialize the module? So I would do Go mod init. And it's automatically created the file with the name Go mod. Inside of this Go mod, there is the name of my module and the uh, Golang version which was used. So next I need to create the main YAML. I'm sorry, main YAML, main.go. And it needs to be main because we are, we are not creating any library and this is, will be file which is going to be executed uh, by Golang is like the main three point. So that's why I'm going to add here package main. This is important when you want to create executable from this file. And next I need to uh, import the module and I'm going to import the module name FMT. FMT is used for printing. But you know what? Let me delete this module and we can check if our GoLang extension is really working. And main function, this is the entry point which will be executed. So here I can type FMT print line and let's do hello world. Uh, print line will print a line into the terminal and add new line symbol automatically at the end of the line. And as you may see, this import FMT was automatically added because I have configured extension for Visual Studio Code, which is automatically add required imports. And now there is a few ways how we can run the code. So first is to run without compiling. So I can run go run main that go. And as you may see, it was executed, but no binary were produced. Another way I can run go build. This will compile my code. And as you can see here, I got hello world binary. And now I can execute this binary. And the same was printed. So go, go run is useful when you like just doing development and then run testing. So that's all what I wanted to show today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There will be more video about Golang. Have a nice day and thank you for your attention.